Where? Are you awake now? I summoned you just in time. Do you remember what happened? What you've done? I've ripped out my... I'm frankly amazed you would go to such lengths, even to fight back against the spell. If I hadn't saved you, you really would be dead. But rest assured, we're finally safe. As for where we are, we are far, far away from that hellish world. Do you remember the first time we met? I was sure you would find a clue in your journey that might reveal where in the world this place is. So I believed anyway, but I was wrong. From the start, this place is... It was never of that world to begin with. No. Maybe there's a better way to put it. This is a place that exists between reality and fantasy. In other words, the world we've been living in is fantasy. The journey was all an illusion. An illusion? There's nothing but despair in that world. And it will never get better. It's an endless, painful, irredeemable hell. I'd always believed that creating a utopia was possible. And if there was desire, then I thought maybe one day someone would achieve it. But I came to realize I was mistaken. In the end, a fantasy is just that. A fantasy. But all that primordial chaos only exists in that world. The world of reality is nothing like that. Really, it's an environment you should know quite well. You've come to know so much of it already. Through text on a page. Now. Behold! Isn't this... Indeed, it's the world I wrote accounts of in my novel. Until now, you've thought this world a mere fantasy, but it's not. So the world I know is all an illusion. And the world of the novel is... reality? Surely you already know. There is no deadly magic, no prejudice between its people. <laughs> now, all you have to do is admit that everything you've been through has been nothing but a story. Just a fantasy. Then this can be your perfect reality. Your journey of revolution was just a passing dream. Let me take you back to reality, child. Can you really do that? You don't have to worry. As long as you can accept that this place is real, everyone will be safe. That world is past any point of redemption. Change is impossible. The royal magic was supposed to be the turning point, but it was all for nothing. In the end, people don't want their world to change. They just want someone to be a sponge for their infinite anxieties. That's all. You can't blame Luis for wanting to end that cycle. How could anyone accept that they lived in a world that miserable? I understand. Yes. You're exactly right. No! Open your eyes! Indeed. In the end, fantasy and reality cannot intersect. The reprieve of a dream ends at the real world's borders, powerless to change it. You've done well. No one can blame you for choosing the truth. Then let's be on our way. There is no need to cling to the husk of a world that's already rotted away. All things must end in their due time.